Hello again, and welcome back to a web series where we take a look inside a secular Sunday school at the Humanist Hub, a community of atheist agnostics and allies at Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts. If you're curious about what that means, you can check out our previous videos. But in these videos, we're going to highlight just a few of our favorite activities that we tried out this year. Apart from sharing and just generally being a part of this conversation, we hope you'll be inspired and maybe try them out in your communities. Thanks for watching The Big Question Lab. So the first activity we'd like to show you, um, we'll just call Explorer Studio. Now this is a fun introductory activity. It really helped us set the tone for the rest of the year. Sort of what's on topic, which is basically everything, and how we'll be approaching those topics, which is by having fun. <laughs> Um, we began this activity with a prompt, a book compiled by Gemma Elwin Harris, which lists some of the big questions from young people and interesting answers from some names which you might recognize. So after looking at a few examples, we took some time to ask our own big questions. You may want to write these down as kids shout them out or give them pieces of paper to think about them on their own. Either way, try to keep their curiosity moving. One big question often leads to another, which can lead to another. And that sort of cascading curiosity is a good signal that kids are becoming engaged in deep thinking. We had some fabulous big questions in our class. Does space ever end? When did we start making animals like dogs? Why is there a president? Why do numbers exist? And eventually, the class even began discussing the idea of nothing and whether or not no thing was a thing at all. Big questions come naturally to kids, and so this is a fun activity on its own, but we didn't want to just feed them simple answers. Next, we wanted to give them an opportunity to express their own spirit of discovery. So next we asked, who do you think answers these questions? Are there any famous explorers you know of who discovered something new that nobody else had known before? So we asked the students to imagine they were explorers who were tasked with answering some of the big questions we came up with as a class. What should they look like? What equipment would they have? Use your imagination. And all around the room, we've supplied the kids with recycled materials, tin foil, tape, little foam strips, uh, which the kids could use for costumes or gadgetry. And for most of the rest of the class, we just invented, designed, and built these big question explorers. The inventiveness of the costumes and tools did not disappoint in our class. We had things like infinity dollar bills and time travel machines and special devices that telepathically resolved conflicts. And while we expect these kids will eventually get into subjects like economics, physics, and interpersonal dynamics more thoroughly, what this activity hopefully does is introduce these subjects in an unconventional way. Because not only can the invention of an infinity dollar bill open up an avenue for conversation about what kind of difficulties money causes or what society might do if money were no issue, but it gives the kids a personal emotional connection to the exploration of that subject. And that's really what we hope to achieve in a humanist Sunday school. The willingness to investigate a wide range of subjects and to do so together. Neat. If you liked this activity, please test it out at home or in your community and share your explorers with us on facebook.com slash Harvard Humanist. Don't forget to share this video and stay tuned for more activities from the Big Question Lab.